This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Alright guys, so check out the last transition for now in this advanced transition series. Um, take note, I may add more to this series later. But um, for now, um, the last transition is going to be the rusher. This is something I call the rusher anyway. I'm going to play through this video and tell you when we get to the rusher transition. If you can dream. That's it right there. See this, uh, this road? It's, it's, I don't know if you can tell. This is actually a road. I literally pointed the camera down um, when someone else is driving and I just filmed the street. And watch uh, how this kind of looks when you put this, this road in between two clips. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with see the road again here it is again you can meet with triumph and disaster and honestly the, the the best way to explain this is it just seems to pull you into the next clip you're doing something right here if you can dream Another. you add the road you add you know I just added like a racing car sound you can add you know a rocket you know engine sound um, this this effect is something I just figured out it just it just seems to like pull you actually um, into the next clip. This is actually not, uh, this is actually a transition I didn't make up myself. This is something I, I if you guys watch, um, if you guys look at a lot of like Hillsong videos from Hillsong Church in Australia, um, they love to add this, uh, th this effect. And I've been, it's, it's crazy. It's, it, I think it, it'll, they do it really well as well. Um, if but you, can dream, you actually no. don't need to even use a road. Another way you can do it is you can have a camera, um, literally on a tripod and then literally just pan that camera as fast as you can so literally all you see is a bunch of you don't see anything you just see like just blur because you're panning the camera so fast put that footage into premiere pro your video editor any video editor and then speed it up even more speed it up like a thousand percent and what you're going to do is you're going to have the same kind of effect it's just like a really quick blur and what it does is when you put it in between two clips if you can dream it's like a it's just a it just gives you a really cool transition one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to use it for too long you want it to maybe use maybe i don't know maybe five six frames that's just a guess but just kind of for any of these uh transitions you got to really make sure that you're not letting them you don't want them to be seen for too long in my opinion this is actually even kind of a long transition um, longer than I usually do it. You can dream and not make dreams your master. Um, and that, uh, and these transitions, I call them um, rushers. And I'm not even sure why. I just kind of made up a name that kind of seemed to reflect what they were doing. Um, they kind of give you a rush when you're looking at them. Yeah, thanks so much for watching this advanced transition series, guys. Um, look out for more videos. I'm going to be uploading more and more every week. Thanks so much.